Brown here from Grand Force Miniature Studios and this is the first video for the new channel and what I'm going to be demonstrating today is basically um, how to make a plain cloak like this from this Terminator Lord to actually look a bit more um, 3D so to speak so if you have a look what I've done on here already so I'll just zoom in quickly there for you is that I've added these um, these quills on the bottom here to make it look like uh, matted fur and um, these are going to be stuck all on this cloak all randomly but first of all I'm going to show you how I've made these little um, bits of matted fur okay so here we go I will show you you will need a trusty knife okay so here's our knife and then we got a bit of sprue that is all we're using so I'm just going to zoom out now then all we are doing on this is we're taking our knife and we're just cutting on the corner at an angle like this and you're just carefully cutting away be sure not to slice your thumb open okay yeah the little bits fly everywhere but they're ready to collect in a moment and I'm gonna need about 200 of these I would imagine if not a few more so there we go that's how you do it it's as easy as that so you're just taking your knife and just carefully cutting into the corner edge of the sprue and we've got a nice little quill there See that, and that's what we that's what we're looking for, is those there. And this is a really good way to put more texture into the cloth if you're not too um, confident using green stuff. So we have our cloak there. I've already put a few on, as you can see, and uh, this is the effect I'm looking for on there. So this is going to basically uh, cover all the way at the top here and all the way down. All over the, all over the cape, and we're gonna start on doing that now. So, with our glue, don't use super glue because if you use super glue, uh, you're probably end up sticking your fingers to it or push it, put in the actual piece in the wrong place. I've got a block nozzle. This is a fantastic start. Here we go, a bit of glue, and then we just want to grab. Well, I'm going to use my fingers for this, I'm left handed, so out of frame, out of frame, there we go, so it's very fiddly, very time consuming, so I'm stuck that one down there, I'm just going to position it now, so that is it, you're just sticking all these on, these are all going to be going across at the top here. This is a very very short video, okay, so uh, I'm not going to cover this entire section on film because it's going to take absolutely ages to do, but what we will do, we'll just show you a, um, a finished side in a moment, okay. So I'm just going to stop the camera now and uh, next thing you'll see is this side here will be covered. Okay, thanks very much guys. Okay, so work so far. We have done. Um, let me just pull that back. There you go. So I've gone up this far, and this has literally taken me 15 minutes to do this. So um, you can see how time consuming this is. But uh, bear in mind, though, the effect that you're going to get in the long run is just going to be awesome. It's going to look a lot more three dimensional, not so boring. And it's going to add a lot more character to your miniature. So when it's out there on the battlefield, it's going to stand out, and that's what we're looking for. So that's the general idea. And uh, the next video on this will be this cloak completely covered. Okay, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Stay tuned and uh, be ready for some more hints and tips and tutorials. Thanks very much, guys, for watching. Bye for now. Hi everyone, it's Farron back again and here's the finished side on the um, cloak. So there we have it. Now it's taken me about 45 minutes to do that part there. 
and there must be at least over a hundred little bits of plastic in there. So uh, I'm quite satisfied with it and I imagine it's going to look even better when it's uh, painted up. So I'm just going to try and zoom in on that for you so you can get a better look. So yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Leave us your um, comments and um, oh, just basically tell us what you think of the idea. I mean, I think because uh, this is uh, going to be a Space Wolf Terminator Lord and uh, I think it's best that he looks as rugged and war-torn as possible and I thought this would be a good idea. I mean, I originally found this idea off um, another channel. Um, his name's Krist and he's from Poland and his name, channel name is Kikumiku7 and he done this for his um, Help the Hero Salamander Sergeant and um, he said he's going to do a tutorial. I suppose he'll get round to it. But um, I just thought I'll um, experiment and see how I uh, get on, and uh, I really like the uh, the actual uh, outcome this has turned out to be. So, yeah, please leave your comments below, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, guys, thank you very much for your support and for watching this. Thanks very much. Bye for now.